Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to next video on Kotlin Fundamentals. Let's assume that you have an interface called as engine and it has a function called as runs on and I will basically implement this particular interface. I will call it as electric engine and I will override the runs on function and once again print a random message here in this case runs on electricity. Now let's assume that I want to create class which uses this electric engine. So that would be something like this. I will create a class called as probably Tesla engine. It takes an argument of type engine and it has a method called as runs on and inside it just calls engine dot runs on. Now, well, if you pay attention to this particular function runs on, it is not doing any implementation. All that it is doing is it just invokes the engines run on function and that internally delegates its execution to the super classes implementation of runs on. So Tesla engine class is basically just delegating its runs on functionality to engines runs on functionality. Well, if you are coming from object oriented programming background, this should look pretty familiar to you. This is what exactly delegation design pattern is all about. And it is one of the very commonly used design pattern in object oriented programming. Now, just to delegate function invocation to some other object, I still had to write quite a number of lines of code in Tesla engine class. Now the question is, can I do it a little bit more efficiently than what I have done so far? And the answer is delegation that is supported in Kotlin as a out of box feature. So in this video, we will see how delegation design pattern can be implemented in Kotlin in a much more efficient manner. So let's get into a demo. Well, you can observe that I have an interface called as engine, then there is an electric engine and then Tesla engine uses the engine type and it just delegates to engine dot runs on. Let me create a val sample engine Tesla engine and then pass a electric engine and if I write say sample engine dot runs on and if I run this it will basically print runs on electricity. Now the thing is I don't want to do all of this just for the delegation purpose. So what I will do is I will write colon engine by engine and will basically remove all the lines of code that I had written. And if I run this you will once again get the same functionality because what we had achieved through those lines of code are only this much is enough to achieve the same thing. So what we are basically telling is if I am going to invoke the runs on method on the sample engine since engine has runs on method and if I invoke runs on on the instance of the Tesla engine then basically delegate it to whatever the engine that I am passing as the argument here and that's it. I don't have to do all that complicated extra number of lines of code that I had written earlier. Let's assume that I had uh, another function here function get transmission type and in case of electric engine let me override that particular get transmission type and let me print here no manual transmission and now if I write sample engine here and then execute get transmission type I don't have to give the implementations of this particular functionality as well it will automatically delegate the call to that particular function. That is the biggest advantage of using this delegate mechanism available in the Kotlin. But let's assume that you are not happy with the implementation of get transmission and you don't want to delegate it to that. You can still use by engine but provide the implementation for get transmission type. And now if I run this, you will observe that for the functionality get transmission type it executes the latest overridden functionality but however for the functionality for which I have not defined or given the overridden functionality that is runs on it will still delegate it to the super classes functionality. So once again if you really 
truly want to override the default functionality and don't want to delegate it to the super classes functionality you can do that and do that for only one particular function you need not worry about for the remaining functions and continue to delegate it to those functions so implementing the delegation design pattern in kotlin is definitely more fun so that's it about the delegates in kotlin in the next video i will meet you with another new topic that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye